Okay, we're picking up from where we left, left off. Um, we're just introducing these, um, these equations, these formulas. Um, and so we've, we've already talked through the law of sine. Go watch that other video. And now I want to give you, we, we proved the law of sine. I'm not going to prove the law of cosine. I'm just going to tell you the equation. Um, and that's c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine c. Um, and we can take this formula and actually sometimes you're not looking for side C here. Um, sometimes you might be looking for a different side. Some books will give you all the possibilities. Basically, what has to happen is that this letter, the little, this little letter, has to match the big letter, and that's the angle, and then the other, the other two show up in the other places. Um, so that's kind of what happens. This is the one that I have memorized, and I can get to the others if I need it, or I can just name my triangle however I want. Um, it's also so. This is how to find a missing side. Notice we'll take um, the length of a square, the length of b square, minus two times the length of a times the length of b times cosine of angle c, um, and then don't forget sometimes. Like we may have a, a situation where your numbers are, are small, so like one side is 10, the other is 12, and all of a sudden you get your third side to be ridiculously large. That what probably happened is that you forgot to take the square root. So don't forget um, to take the square root. Now it can also be helpful, and here's where we're going to put um, how to find a missing angle. I can take that formula. And I can manipulate it. I can solve for C. Or I like to actually I like to solve for cosine of C. It just is, it just kind of works. That's just my style. If you solve all the way to C, that's perfectly all right. Um, and so I will manipulate this and have a second formula that I want to hang on to. So I begin by subtracting out a squared and b squared. Okay. Then I can I'm going to divide. But before I do that, I'm going to factor out a negative, and that makes the a squared positive, the b squared positive. Um, and the c squared becomes negative, and that's equal to, well, and then I'm going to, sorry, at the same time, I'm going to divide by negative 2ab. Oh, that's too many letters. Okay, so sorry, cosine c, there we go. Divided by negative 2ab. Yeah, negative 2ab cosine c divided by negative 2ab, so that I can get cosine c by itself. Notice the negatives are going to cancel each other out. Um, and all of this, we're left with a mess. But we're left with cosine of c is equal to a squared plus b squared minus c squared over 2ab. And this formula here is really helpful to find a missing angle. So um, you can use the, the other one and manipulate and solve for c. But this one's all solved for big c. This one's already solved for cosine of c, and life just gets a little bit easier.